You guys ready? Hey. Um, uh, like I said earlier, I give out the instructions how to get promoted in uh, uh, the quickest possible way. And quick in regards to promotion is relative. I mean, what's real qu what's quick? Just as fast as possible. You know what I mean? Fast as possible. Could mean you can get your black belt in, you know, uh, you can get it in five, six years. You know, you wrestle your whole life. You know, you break dance your whole life. Damn, you come in with so much. And Lou Luis came in hot. Wrestled 15 years or some shit. <laughs> some shit. <laughs> Junior college. <laughs> I got a master's dog. <laughs> Santa Ana Community College. <laughs> we call that SAC. Everyone, you go to SAC, go to SAC. SAC. You heard of SAC? Santa Ana Community College? Mario's like, yeah, I got cousins to go there. <laughs> Um, if you work your ass, I, I, I got my black belt in nine years. So I say that's like, a, like average is like nine years. First two to three years. I, first two years I trained like once a week. It took me almost two years, something like that. I was mad. I just wanted that fucking blue belt. God damn it. I just didn't want to be white no more. Can I get blue? Shit. Because everybody in the world, whether you're involved in martial arts or not, Everybody in the world knows what a black belt is, all right? My mom, she knows black belt means, I, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> and everybody knows what white belt means. Like, ah, I didn't want to be white belt, I just wanted to be blue, because I was talking so much shit about jiu-jitsu, I was like, this is the greatest shit ever, oh my God. I'm, I'm like showing everyone UFC, I'm going, look, this is what I do, and they go, what belt do you? White? <laughs> so I was pissed that I didn't get that blue. They're like, you're only training once a week. How are you gonna get that blue? And there was guys in there training five, six days a week. I was training like a year and a half and a dude comes in, some, some uh, you know, football player in high school, he trains six days a week. And in like four months, he's tapping me. And I've been training a year and a half. <coughs> so that's when I decided, you know what? Cause I was also training striking too. I was doing uh, the Danny and Asana system. So I thought, oh dude, I, I was like, I had something on the grapplers. Like, I do stand up too. You just do the ground. But it didn't matter in class because they were tapping me. And they were like bragging, like, dude, that dude been training a year and a half and I smoked him. I'm like, fuck. Thank God that was, MySpace hasn't been invented by that time. <laughs> there was no social media. That would have been a problem. So after a while, I got, it really hurt that these guys that were training for six months were fucking me up. So then I quit the striking. I'm like, fuck striking. And then I got better. I got Thursday night at the strip club. And then boom, the money started rolling in. Then I started training four or five days a week. And then I'm like, okay, fuck that. I got to take this shit seriously. These guys are trying to take my head off. Can't be fucking around doing fucking Wing Chun on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Man, going to do striking, man, I was just looking for a reason to turn around and go home. I'm halfway there. I'm like, I don't want to fucking hit a bag hit the air, and, you know, I was like looking for a reason, like, and I'm like, you know what, my throat, you know what, I am kind of sick, I think, boom, turn around, I was looking for a reason to, to not go to striking training, but not jujitsu, shit, shit, I'll show up to jujitsu, Friday was my day, I look forward to Friday, that was the one day, that one day, if I partied hard Thursday night at the club, I had two hours of sleep, I'm still going to jujitsu, there's no way I'm not going to, I'll drag my ass in like a zombie, and shit, I'll hung over, I'm like, I'm not going to miss my Friday. That's how much I love jujitsu. And then, you know, the rest is history, man. I just dedicated my life to it. Uh, thank God my music sucks. Otherwise, uh, who knows, man? <laughs> I know y'all haven't heard El Coyote yet. But, uh, it's coming. It's coming, guys. Um, this guy been training like, um, maybe 13 years, you know, um, 
He was uh, one of those guys that would show up late all the time. And I love him to death. Love him to death. Showed up late all the time. I still love him. One of my favorite people in the world. The most, the most loyal. Number one. Number one, this guy. And then he finally, these speeches that I keep giving, the same ones, promotion, he finally go, oh, wait a minute. All I got to do is show up early and learn the warm-ups. Like, that's it, dog. So for the last 10 months, he changed his lifestyle, changed his routine. He got here on time, learned the warm-ups. It's about motherfucking time, Zach Walton. but I, I lost about a year when I, I broke an ankle unrelated to jujitsu. I was drunk and jumped over a fence. But uh, <laughs> so it's been a long time coming. So sit back. I'm going to tell you my whole life story now. <laughs> this is going to be a long, long speech. Uh, when, when I was like uh, five years old, <laughs> I did, uh, had to do a finger. We were finger painting. And... Um, <laughs> And we were supposed to finger paint what we wanted to be when we grew up, and mine was Karate Man. And uh, I had two brothers. One of them took me to see Enter the Dragon with a family friend when I was about five in the drive through movie theater. My other brother, that was his hero, was Bruce Lee. My other brother's hero was Dusty Rhodes, so those were my heroes, Bruce Lee and Dusty Rhodes. And uh, so wrestling and martial arts. It's, so I, I want to, I got to dedicate this to my brothers. Because they, they were such a big part of, of this whole path. My love for martial arts, wrestling, the whole thing. And uh, pro wrestling. I never really wrestled, you know. And, uh, you know, this place has been a sanctuary for me. You know, it always seemed like on the worst days of my life, I would come here and it would all be better. And uh, it's still like that for me. This is... The place where I can just forget about everything else that's going, going on, and uh, I think the the best thing I've gotten is is all the friends I've made here. Uh, you know, I, I've wondered what I was going to say for years when I had this chance, and the speech has changed over and over. But uh, Eddie, thank you, thank you for the the friendships you've given me, the knowledge you've given me. Uh, I remember when I was brand new, you were like. Uh, Anybody can do this, but I'm not so sure about this one. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so I may have found the one guy that I can't teach, but you also said uh, I had zero experience, zero athleticism, and you said, well, at least I can build you up from the ground up. And uh, uh, so many good things in my life are, are a result of being here, and I, I can never thank you enough. And thank you for all of you for being my friends. I love you all very much. And I just, I can't even, I'm astral projecting right now. I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even here right now. So,
Come on, Zach. Come on. Oh, oh, another hug? Yeah, another hug? That's the first time, bro. Oh, I, did I see it? It was quick, bro. It doesn't count. Remember Blackstone's hug?